Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you with a space engineer tutorial. Today we're going to cover batteries. Batteries work best with solar panels because solar panels only work in the daytime. So at nighttime, uh, what what is what is going to power your base? Because you're not going to be getting any power from your solar panels. Well, that's batteries. So the daytime, solar panels charge your batteries, and at nighttime. Your solar panels are not working, your batteries kick in, and they run your base for you, and everything's running peachy clean. So, how do the batteries work? So, number one, if you're playing a survival game in the new survival release, basically Space Engineers has already been released and everything's already, you're going to need a basic assembler to actually make bat the bank batteries. That's because the assembler can make the power cells that you need to make the batteries. So, do keep in that, do keep in that mind. Uh, the batteries are look just like this. You can find them in the G menu. You can type in batteries, and they're right there. And you can see that there's my battery. You can move it around like you do uh, with any other block. And when you build it, it builds. Obviously, I built it really quick because I am in kind of cheat mode to show you guys this real quick. So. When you make the battery, you go into its control panel, you see the battery, you have a bunch of different things. The max output the battery can put out is 12 megawatts, which is quite a bit. The max required input is uh, 12 megawatts. The max stored power is 3 megawatts. Uh, the current input is 1.32 megawatts. That's what we are getting from our solar panels. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I got 10 of them up there. And uh, you do need that many uh, solar panels to... Uh, keep your base running. Solar panels produce very little power, about one, one, uh, 150 kilowatts per panel, and most of your stuff requires quite a bit of power to run anyway, so we'll cover that. Uh, the current output is 2 kilowatts, which is uh, basically kind of running uh, these to keep these, they're not actually doing anything, but they're running them to keep them going. If I actually had ores or anything that I was uh, trying to refine, the power required would be a lot more and right down here there's the important part so even with 10 solar panels it's going to take two hours for my batteries to fully charge and that's something to keep in mind because if you're playing on a world where the sunlight only lasts one hour that means you're only going to get one hour of charging into this battery before you lose your sun and you no longer get in uh, solar panel uh, solar panels are no longer doing anything. That's not including if your base is actually using a lot of power at the same time. So um, that's that's the that's the the cav that's the bad thing about batteries and solar panels. They're very hard to run together and uh, to keep things going. You tend to need a lot of solar panels to keep up with your battery power. In the options down here, we have charge mode. It, it defaults to auto, but there's also two other things. Recharge mode puts the battery in complete recharge mode. It will not send out any power to your grid at all. It's only going to take all of the power it can do. I highly suggest when you're first starting out, you use recharge mode in daylight, and then at nighttime, you put it back in auto mode. Just, just to get you started until you get enough solar panels up um, to cover you for both the day and night cycle. Uh, the other one is discharge. Discharge means that it's only going to send out power. It's not going to take power in to save, and it's not for uh, the store, and it's not going to, you know what I'm saying. So it's basically just discharging what's in the battery, and now the solar panels are not charging it anymore. So that's something you got to keep in mind. Uh, the best option, if you have enough power input into the batteries, is the auto. What the auto does is that once it gets to a certain low charge, it automatically switches between recharge and discharge. So if it gets low, it's going to recharge your battery. If it gets too high, it's going to go to the discharge of the battery. So that's what the auto actually means. Those are your th only three options you have right now. All right, so let's take a look at what happens when we add more solar panels. I'll go here. We'll see. Now it says it'll fully recharge in one hour. It kind of moves like that, but I'm just going to put it in recharge. So at recharge, it says it's going to take one hour to recharge with our current battery state. So let's add four more of these uh, solar panels. I'll go to eight. Let me get out of here. One. Oops. I don't want that like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
two and three, four. So there we go. So now I actually have 14 solar panels. And you can tell that the way I have my solar panels going is that the sun is always pretty much over me because it's you know it's a hor horizontal type thing and then it goes out down that way so I'm always gonna have my max power when they're laying like this so now let's take a look at what it's gonna charge uh, take to charge my battery oh well it's still technically almost an hour uh, it's kinda down it kinda went to 60 minutes but we we are taking in current input 2.03 megawatts of power so um, that's actually pretty good let's see what happens when we throw down another battery so now we have a battery on charge and we have a battery defaults, remember, defaults to auto. Uh, so now the battery says five minutes. Now that's kind of weird. What's going on when that happens? And this one says 10 minutes. Don't let this trick you, okay? So what's happening is the batteries kind of run independently. So this battery is taking, uh, well this one's charging, but this battery is taking power from this one, which means it's sucking all its power away right now so it actually it says it'll be fully depleted in five minutes that's because we have this in auto and we have this one in recharge and this one says it will be fully charged in nine minutes the problem is that it doesn't realize that this battery is actually gonna run out in five minutes Let's see if you can keep up with me on this it doesn't realize it's gonna run out in five minutes it's thinking that it's gonna have this much power basically 12 megawatts input for this whole time that's going to take nine minutes but that's not going to happen because this battery is al already almost dead let's put it in recharge and now it went to two hours and this was with two hours so that makes sense right we have both batteries in two hours this battery by itself with this money with, with this many uh, solar panels was one hour now we added two batteries so that means we have two hours of recharge time so that's basically how the batteries work in conjunction with your solar panels. Batteries also work with uh, wind turbines, uh, with the hydrogen engine, etc., etc. It's always a good option to have your batteries on your ships and your your bases because batteries can output the max amount of wattage of anything in the game even nuclear reactors. I believe nuclear reactors are like eight megawatts per thing or five, I'd have to look it up. But um, you always kind of want batteries on everything of yours because that's what's gonna give you your max output of power at once. So always keep that in mind. So that's about it guys. Um, hopefully that helps with your understanding of how the batteries work. And this is Malkuth1974, we'll see you later. Malkuth out.